Hello everyone, my name is Elon Ouyang. Today my team will introduce in the future economy trend of the USA. The first topic I'm talking about is the net borrower or lender. According to the data in March 2018, the current account deficit is USD 122.2 billion. Therefore, we can conclude that the USA is the net borrower. Since the USA is the open economic country, the current account deficit can result in current trending consumption increase. Hi, my name is Kevin. Today we're talking about the US Treaty. According to the statistics described by the Big Mass Indicate, in 2018, Chinese currency was undervalued by 9.2% against the US currency. US imports are much larger than the export, which has cross balanced uh, trade deficit which will bring the current account deficit and the net foreign debt increasing. Furthermore, spy more USD, which reduced the exchange rate. When the exchange rate fell, it attacked more capital inflow and required more USD, so the exchange rate rise. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ji Huang Kai, and I'm going to talk about trading balance. Trading balance is a sensitive to change in frequent price of input and export. When a country faces an unfair trading balance, it will witness the country's economic performance and how to go into change it, the government needs to currency and reduce the price of export. That makes the export product have better competition with other countries. Hi, this is Ge Yuhan and I'm going to talk about the ISL and BP model. For physical policy, U.S. Congress approved a lead to government spending in 2018 and 2019. This will shift the IS curve to the right, raise the interest rate and the capital inflow. However, the fall in exchange rate will reduce the net export and shift the IS curve back to the left. Therefore, the physical policy is completely ineffective. For monetary policy, the FOMC sustained to increase the target range for the federal funds rate. This will shift the LM curve to the right, causing capital outflow and BOP deficit. In addition, the interest rate for and exchange rate rise increase the net export and shift the IS curve to the right. Therefore, the monetary policy is effectively. The next topic I'm going to introduce is the economic structure. In 2016, the openings is 26.58%. That means the export trend occupy a large part in American economic. Therefore, we can conclude the USA is the open country. Here are the examples of external shocks and internal shocks. So our recommendation for USA government is that first, controlling the borrowing from foreign countries. Second, implement tax reform. Third, reduce the regulation and the infrastructure spending. It's the end of this presentation. Thanks for watching.